A traffic on Grandview Drive at the interchange of I-15 and US-20 in Idaho Falls has prompted the city to expand the road. Construction is expected to begin July 9th, but some problems have come up. Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Miller joins us now here in the studio. And Hannah, you went to the city council meeting tonight to find out if these problems have been fixed. Have they? Todd, the city has acquired all parcels of land required for the expansion except one. The city has offered a fair market price and made efforts to enter into negotiations to purchase the property, but have been unsuccessful. Here's the area being discussed. The council tells me that the land needed for the expansion is less than 5% of the entire parcel. They say it's about a sidewalk width on the corner of Grandview and Skyline. It has now been recommended that the city exercise its eminent domain authority in order to get that last parcel to be in construction. Tonight, the city council voted unanimously to condemn the land for the road expansion project. Well, I, th I think for this particular situation, the right turn bay is definitely something that's very needed for traffic. If you drive on Skyline, you know, it's a very prevalent movement. Um, and I think it's just unfortunate that to this point, we haven't been able to resolve the the property acquisition. So this is really the next step that's available to us to meet the time frame associated with the project. The landowner will still have the opportunity for trial since that has gone through. There was a lot to talk about tonight at the city council. Oh, yes. What else? Did anything? Learn anything else? Yeah, they talked about a professional service agreement between the Idaho Falls Arts Council and the Civic Auditorium. The Civic Auditorium has been around since the 1950s, so the council really wants to increase its usage, increase its viability, because it is such a historic part of Idaho Falls. So the Idaho Falls Arts Council would provide marketing services and planning to help with that for the Civic Auditorium. It's going to cost about $65,000, but that is within the budget for this year. However, the budget next year will need to be revised for it. So it's just working out the uh, negotiation? Yes. Okay. All right. Hannah, thanks for both those reports.